the Technion always carries a soft spot in my heart. First, because I met my wife here. And second, because uh, that is where my scientific um, curiosity has been shaped. People like Professor Ollendorf and Abraham Ginsburg and uh, Michael Yoeli, infinite role models. And one cannot ask for more. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'd like to welcome you to the 2011 Harvey Prize Ceremony. I know how prestigious this uh, prize is. You only need to have a quick glance at the former uh, winners to realize uh, the importance of this prize. Names like uh, Claude Shannon and uh, Michael Rabin come to mind. Technion, Israel Institute of Technology, American Technion Society, hereby confer upon Professor Yuda Perl the Harvey Prize in Science and Technology. I'm very honored. My specific research had to do with equipping machines with the ability to handle uncertainty. And we are able today to take uh, thousands and millions of variables and encode the probabilities that connects them to each other and encode the degree of belief that uh, needs to be updated when we see new evidence. And that has led to a tremendous uh, number of uh, applications from uh, medical diagnosis, homeland security, to hardware diagnosis, and so on and so on. Given the instrument that the tragedy has entrusted upon us, we had to do something actively and effectively against the hatred that took our son's life. The foundation was formed a week after the tragedy. We simply did not have a choice. Danny was a musician and a journalist. It was natural that these two elements will be part of the foundation. So we started to bring journalists from Muslim countries to the United States and to have them spend a week at the Jewish Journal. We felt this way we are opening their eyes to the fact that Jews and Muslims are not that different. Another vehicle we used is music because Danny was a musician and that one took off very easy. Last year we had participation of 2,088 concerts in 83 countries and dedicating the concert to the ideals that Danny stood for to coexistence and tolerance and respect for differences and all what it takes to bring people together. For the book, I'm Jewish, we have asked a simple question. When you say I'm Jewish, what do you really mean? And we asked this question to 300 uh, scholars, statesmen, journalists, and so on. To me, it means to identify myself with the past, <coughs> present, and future of a collective of individuals who happen to call themselves Jews. We are bonded by history, and we are bonded by a desire to shape our destiny together. The existence of Israel and the success and the pride they get from the progress in Israel is the last bond for the Jewish nation.